what is going on guys we're here for another video guys we're here for the batman episode two the pack guys this is gonna be episode one was a good episode so episode two is about um the riddler's friends and also it's it might be john doe's friends i'm pretty sure it is john doe's friends because in episode one riddler did talk about um John Doe betraying him. Well, he did say a white face, so I'm pretty sure that would be John Doe. I do not know for sure, guys, but guys, we are here for this video, so let's go ahead and get this going, guys. This will be part six of the sequel, by the way, guys. A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. I'm surprised she knows my identity. I wonder how she knows it though. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports. Nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. You don't have to tell me that. I know we're on the same side. I'm glad to hear it. I thought you might be harder to convince. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. Bruce Wayne is my cover. There's a reason I keep my identity a secret. The wrong person finds out. It's all over. I hear you loud and clear. But it didn't stop Bruce Wayne from dealing with a thug like Maury. In public. What the hell? <laughs> Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. That's what I was about to say too. Riddler's gang. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. 
I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. Let's move, people. This is what we train. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under siege. Crazy, I already know it. Because there was three people in the front cover. I knew I saw Holly Cohn in the cover and I saw Bane. So. It's gonna be so long. I know Bane's one tough guy. What you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. Give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to. I swear. The really big it's okay. Uh, Get out I'm of here. That's bad. Now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yes, yeah, yeah, just about. All right. See why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead, Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro Freezer. And there. <laughs>
give you a piece for death. If you take it. Feeling, Batman. Hopefully Jim will know what to do. I thought I had Waller. Hmm. That was crazy. I not, Bane just when when he doesn't have that um green serum, whatever that is, he's he's like Batman will beat him, but like with, with it. when he puts it on, it's over with. Batman, say something if you can hear me. I'm over here for him. Over here. Gordon, Christ, Batman. Come on, help me. It, it won't move. Batman, we're gonna need you to help us push this thing off. How exactly am I? How exactly is Batman supposed to help? Me? You can do it. Oh, it's it moving. I was wondering, like. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on. The mechanic. Where is he? He didn't make it. Damn it. He saved my life. Batman? It's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. Well, when you're feeling up to it, I'd love to hear what the hell happened here. Who did this to you? He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs, said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. You need to find them. Don't worry. We'll catch the bastards. You better believe the entire force is motivated after what happened tonight. 
These bastards declared war on our city. Tell them to be careful, John. Don't let them take any unnecessary risks. These men are dangerous. Montoya, update the APB information. And remind all units to proceed with extreme caution. Don't need anyone else playing hero tonight. Yes, sir. I can't imagine being a cop for Thanks Gotham for City. sticking your neck out It'd and calling me I need all the juice I can get now that we live in Waller's Gotham. We're going to have to stick together if we're going to weather her storm. You and me, we're nothing like her. To hell with Waller. This is our city, and we're not going to let her take it from us. <laughs> I'm lucky to have you on my side. Thanks again for keeping me in the loop. It means a lot. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. So, what did I miss? Oh, I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham Brokerage House when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Your partner, Avesta. How is she? Still in the hospital. The doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. Mm -hmm. Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. I put her in danger. It's my fault. The blame for what happened to Avesta rests with Riddler, not you. That's nice of you to say. Look, I owe you one for saving my life back there. So I gotta warn you. Waller flipped when she heard you called Gordon instead of her. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can. For everyone's sake. I'll tell Avesta you asked about her. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. I know Batman's just hurt so bad. <laughs> I'm surprised he's even walking. Not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. But I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. It wasn't a great time for me either. <sighs> I know. We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. 
The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. I need your strength right now. Of course. Sorry for not being my resolute self. We've never gone up against anyone able to cause you so much harm. Waller is right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good, thanks. Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up, get an assessment of the damage. What the heck is this? Gothcorp Labs, genetic research facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes. I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. 20. Others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Ten million. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene, dressed up as a clown and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. That's just crazy. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them. That would be suicide in your current condition. You're right, Alfred. I hate to say it, but I'm not exactly ready for round two. One thing's for sure. We can't just sit around waiting for them to strike again. We've seen the kind of devastation these killers can cause. I know you told Waller you were reluctant to risk Bruce Wayne's cover. But I'm more worried about the risk to Batman, given your current condition. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. You're right. John's my ticket in. If I play my cards right, John might tell me most of what I want to know. Uh, well, the less you have to mingle with his friends, the better I'll feel about all this. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. I'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm not planning to stick around for long. 
Just enough for me to figure out their plan. Yes. And then what? I'll improvise. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Really? He just gonna go in like that. <laughs> Didn't even rest one bit. I couldn't do Batman's job. He just got the beating of a lifetime. He's still... Look at him. Batman! I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Really, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. It, okay. It feels... No, really, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of sh Oh, uh, <laughs> I am... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna ignore what I heard. No harm done. <laughs> you set me up. Nonsense! Bruce! Uh, uh don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. circle here every second Sunday therapy circle really? these people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham so that know it all really got what was coming to him Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> Look how big his smile is. Oh my god. Did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? No, 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 of course not. I mean, I know you hated him, but you know, killer. What was I thinking? Uh, I know what you were thinking. But hey, no harm done. Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. <laughs> Dollar I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. The, the, the pinky swear, really? <laughs> pinky swear. Friends for life. The fact that uh, Bruce Wayne just does the pinky swear too. Look at her. <laughs> I 
Let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! <laughs> I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friendly chat. Are you calling me a liar? Ooh. Shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. And it's gonna be your last mistake. Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? A drive? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. I got standards. I don't take bribes. This cash could buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you... Put it that way. Huh. Thanks, Wayne. Well, when you put it that way. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, cool. They're expecting you. Uh, Br Bruce, um, wow. <laughs> one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. It's huge. I think I'm in love. It's, it's an odd feeling. And at first, I... Happy for you. <laughs> I am so happy, John. You deserve the best. Yeah, I'd blush if I could. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Her. Keep saying her. Oh. Well, Almost that. got it. God damn it! I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. I could just buy you a car, you know, something with an actual key. Uh, this works, it's just a matter of trial and error. Just one sec. There we go. Wait, who is that? Who even... What the... Don't turn around. Oh, wait, wait. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Trust me, you don't want to do that. The mess will be awful. Maybe I like mess. No, no. Brains are like red wine. The stain never comes out, no matter how hard you scrub. <laughs> Since when did you ever scrub a damn thing? I'm <laughs> just joshing you, rich boy. See, there wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. Really? <laughs> Oops. Well, let's put some music on. Now, Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Sure. I can see the funny side. See, I told you, Bruce is a good sport. Quinn here says you're chomping at the bit to meet us. I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? The agency is after us both. After the bombing, they've been sniffing all around Wayne Enterprises. 
We should work together to get him off our backs. Sounds to me like you just bring more heat. Bruce could be a real help to us, Harley. You should have seen how he took out this guy in the bar. He played him like a Stradivarius. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. See, I'm also like undercover, so that's like another thing about it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I ask myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. John and I went through a lot in Arkham. He's a friend. Oh, ain't that cute. You're sweet on little old Puddin. Here's the thing, lover boy. Guys like him don't have friends like you. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. What? You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? My father used to run crime in the city. It's in my blood. Fooey. My mama was a grocer. I don't give two craps about fruits. You think that's the same? Hm. Don't matter. You'll show me soon enough if you got what it takes. Oh, gee, thanks, Bud. We gotta go. What were you guys talking about? <laughs> you see the guy running behind us. <laughs> Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Pud. Got a little man crush on ya. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. <laughs> you just made my day, Bruce! I want you to know, the feeling's mutual. Oh my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. Uh. The heck is she doing? Suck on that. What? I swear, it'll just make look your at John. whole body shiver. I feel like if I drink it, John will just be jealous. Come on, put your lips on it. No, no thank you. Good. Suit yourself. I'ma pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mm. Just snatched it out of her hand. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Uh, there is... Great. Way That's just friends. great. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level about the agency. Maybe I'll even vouch for you with the rest of the guys. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's in okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? You don't have to worry. I promise. I'll take care of it. So glad to hear it. Maybe you are my kind of guy. Well, then, let's get moving. No time like the present.
You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. Alright, guys. We are going to end the video like this. Sad to say, guys. I hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you are new and want to see more videos like these then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Peace guys.